Louisiana beer reviews. We're looking at NOLA Brewing of New Orleans, Louisiana. Their beer called Muses, Belgian style pale ale. Now, see that? Shoe. The Muses Parade is an all women's parade. That was started in 2001. It's not an old crew. They have some crews that started in the 1870s. But um, uh, it says, Our Muses Ale offered during the carnival season. Portion of the sales support the Crew of Muses Foundation. Okay. Maybe uh, the NOLA people are involved with the parade. I don't know. Belgian style ale. Light on the palate. So it's 4.4% alcohol. It's made for drinking a lot of it during the the parade. Probably the crew's drinking it. Um, 20 IBU. Uh, let's see. Laissez le bon beer versus let the good beer flow. Now it's saying on the can 4.5, the website 4.4, the can 4.5. Okay. It's one of those stick-on labels, you know. <sighs> now they're using Pilsner malt, Wireman Pilsner malt, Melanoidin, and Acidulated. So I'm going to use a Pilsner glass using Pilsner malt. Citra and Centennial hops. Gets a very good score in Beer Advocate, what they call very good. I don't call a 76 out of 100 very good, but there's only 12 ratings. And there's no score on rate beer because it's less than 10 ratings. But it, the ones that have come out to like a 60, 63 out of 100. And then on Untapped, they're saying, um, there's a lot on Untapped, and they're saying, and I'm, I really don't fool with that website, but I might stop. But they're saying um, 3.5. So 70. So uh, the reviews are mixed, or not even that positive, really. Well, very good, I guess, is very good. I'm saying the 76 isn't very good. Beer Advocate said it is very good. And then Josh's Key to Beer is his video channel. Josh's Key to Beer. He reviewed it, but I didn't watch it yet. I don't want to be influenced by it, so I don't know what he said. Okay. I'm going to watch your video, Joshua Key McGinnis. Okay. Uh, Off-white head. The appearance is golden and mostly clear. There's fine particulate matter, very fine sediment. And I don't see any... Oh, there's some pretty big chunks down in here. Whoa. Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind that. I must have something on my hand that stuck to the glass. And... Uh, so it looks kind of like, um, what does that look like? What beer does that look like? Um, I don't know. It's, I was going to say an adjunct lager, but it's too gold for that. Uh-uh. Oh, it looks like Anchor Steam, maybe. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. All right. Okay. I've never before had it. I bought a Martin Wine Cellar. I have been on a tour of NOLA Brewing, but that was before I even started the video channel. That was in 2009. Too bad. I did take some photos, though. Ooh, that does have a Belgian smell, that Britannomyces type thing. That little horse blanket, farmhouse ale. That's, that's definitely in the aroma. <clears throat> Spiciness, too. You know, those Belgian pale ales have that, that um, it's like spicy white bread. It's so much different than American pale ale. So if you're thinking of Dale's pale ale, or Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, forget about it. Forget about it. It ain't the same thing. It's good. It's more like a golden ale than pale, to be particularly honest. Let's go with the flavor. <clears throat> Spicy white bread. A light mouthfeel. A crisp finish. It's a an ale with many... American lager qualities, the wateriness, the 4.4, or as you read the can, 4.5, but you know, the relatively low ABV. Uh, 
I guess that's moderate really when you think about it. But now we're so used to everything being eight, nine, ten percent. You know, all these big, these big we're used to the big boilers, so we can't get used to the regular beers anymore. I don't remember the price. I don't think it was too expensive. But I've only ever seen it at Marta Wine Cellar. I may have overlooked it at other stores though. Okay, so it could be it could be around here. The aroma is really exuberant. <laughs> Fruity in the horse blanket and the spices. <clears throat> okay. Rating. I would say A minus. I think it's higher than just very good. I think it's like at the lower end of excellent. It is exactly what it was created to be. So you couldn't review it and say, well, it's too, it's too watery. It doesn't have enough body. It doesn't have enough alcohol. That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like that. Now you might say, well, you could just drink Bud Light. You could do that. And that would be 4.2% alcohol in less calories, I'm sure. But it wouldn't have this spicy, bready, rich flavor. It would have its own, you know, I do believe that that, I'm just using that as an example, the Bud Light has its own particular interesting, you know, sort of interesting flavor. When I'm drinking it during bingo, if I'm working out the Knights of Columbus bingo, I'll be thinking, yeah, you know, people say too much negative about it like it's so bad. It really is not. It's just its own little thing. And that little thing, plus the, you know, Heavy marketing makes it very popular. Okay, but anyway, I like the lacing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A minus. So, laissez les bon tourmalet, an excellent beer. And I think I've been to a Muses Parade before. <clears throat> so, I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Southeastern Louisiana, Lions.